Tony Marie here. Birthday check-in. Uh, it's going okay. I ordered um, sushi because I couldn't get a grocery delivery order and Johnny uh, Rigatoni was gonna cook something good for dinner um, since my back's out. So blown out, blown out. So uh, he was gonna cook. He's a good cook. He keeps that under wraps. He made something last night with, um, oops, am I blocking my microphone? I should be recording on my uh, my iPad, but this is easier for now. I gotta just watch my thumbs. Uh, that was another nickname of mine. It was uh, Dorney Two Thumbs because all my thumbs, uh, there's certain people who know about the thumbs and certain other people who don't know about my thumbs and they're all gonna keep quiet. They're not gonna communicate. So anyway, uh, um, let me just say this. Uh, I never told you guys about this date I went on many, many years years ago and i mean it's all under the water under the bridge now i don't know where the guy is but uh he somebody said i'm gonna uh set you up with someone on a blind date and this guy comes in a little orange convertible i don't know what the hell kind of car it was but it was this little little tiny like it looked like a toy car it was some sort of european car and the guy is um uh i don't have anything against any kind of people but he was had a German accent, and that kind of triggers me, gives me a trigger, it gives me a trigger. So, but I said, I'm gonna give this guy one chance and he can prove if he's a nice guy and can overcome his shortcomings. So he picks me up in his weird little yellow, uh, I mean, orange car, it was bright and convertible. And I'm like, this doesn't, this don't look safe. Like I dated a guy who drove a Harley Davidson and that was frightening. I do not recommend ever being on the back of a motorcycle. Every time it goes to the side, like this, you know, I'll give a reenactment. Terra, ah, terra, yeah. I mean, you think you're gonna fall flat and yes, you're, you're gonna talk about exfoliation. I mean, that would be, if you hit the pavement with your cheek, you're done. You're gonna exfoliate for life there. So anyway, uh, oh, the guy, the guy the car with the orange car. Every car that he sees, beep, 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 beep. Like, I don't like aggressive drivers and that's why I don't really drive. And um, I like to walk. And so anyway, so let's to make, make a long story short. I don't know why this is coming to me now on my birthday, but he says to me, I know why, because of my forehead. We're sitting at dinner and he says to me, you have a very confrontational forehead. So I'm not sure if that was a language barrier thing. Here's my forehead. It's confronting you, right? So, uh, well, what? So I said, well, what do you mean by that? I didn't know if it was a language barrier. I didn't want to. Maybe it was a high compliment. Maybe in Germany, my forehead is going to be like the ideal of beauty. Like my forehead is communicating greatness. You know how I took it, though? I think he meant that I should have been quite a kind of a woman, that I was too loud mouthed and forehead too loud of a forehead. Like he didn't like my forehead was shouting at him somehow silently and communicating with him and he didn't like it. So, um. So I, that was not good. So that did not make a good first impression. Uh, so he's already, he doesn't like Donnie's forehead. So then next thing I'm talking and I'm like, we gotta get this dinner over with. I gotta get in that little freaking car, risk my life again. Every car he sees, everybody, his turn, somebody's turn, he goes beep, beep. Somebody's turning, beep, 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 beep. I wish I knew what kind of car it was. If anybody knows about what kind of like, a, it would be a weird looking, like a toy car. So if anybody knows about that, you could put it in the comments. So anyway, I have no idea what it was, but I'm sort of curious. It was like tiny, tiny, tiny convertible, European. I know it was from Europe, like him. And anyway, so he, then he says, get this. He says, you Italians all talk with your hands. It makes you look so unintelligent. <sighs> excuse me excuse me excuse me i actually have read studies and i'm gonna go extra hard on this one with my hands studies that means that make say your brain and your hands work in perfect tandem and people who talk mellifluously i gotta look that word up they talk they talk smoothly whatever they talk with the hands they um they're smarter hmm. higher intelligence bigger brain wrap around tie back to my 
confrontational forehead. It's got a big brain in there, buddy, Heinrich. If you're out there, if you're out there with your little orange car in North Jersey, honking at people and worried about women's, how confrontational their forehead is, or their mouth, or their whatever, then, uh, bye bye. See me use my hands? Bye bye. Donny Marie says to you, Heinrich, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I hope he's out there. I hope he's watching this. I hope that he's watching this and thinking what I could have had. All that. All that. Right? And uh, let me just say, earlier today, when I had that robe on, I know I'm a robe enthusiast, but I had all those braces and it was making me look, I looked at the video later, it made me look like I was nine months pregnant. Let me prove that um, Donny Marie is not, not pregnant. All right, that was just a rumor started by that robe and the way the two braces, the top brace and the bottom brace on the spine was making my robe like poof out. And it looked, there started a rumor on the internet. I heard there was a big, a, like it was like going viral that uh, Donnie Marie is pregnant. Now, and J Johnny Rigatoni, don't worry about it. You're not, <laughs> you're not going to be a daddy. All right. I mean, I love kids all day, all the time. Every kid. I'll do anything for a kid. I'll take a kid's in the street. Kid's hungry. I'll take care of it. I'll, t I'll bring it in. I'll do whatever. I'll get it a blanket. I'll get it a backpack. I'll get it some crayons. Uh, I'll teach him how to draw a tree. But, um, uh, uh, no, Donnie Marie is not having the, a baby in this whole, it's this whole, you know, setup here. I got, I got a certain setup going on. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here with my confrontational forehead to tell you I'm about to go eat my favorite Midori Sushi. Shout out in Highland Park, Raritan Ave. You could look it up, you could Google it and they uh, deliver and... I can get all um, vegan uh, stuff, which I like. I can get the avocado salad, avocado asparagus salad. I can get two all veggie rolls. I can get two sweet potato rolls, insanely good. And, uh, cause Johnny, me and Johnny Rigatoni both like both of those. So it's, I got two of each. And then the fifth one was like a dessert sushi. It's, um, it's this avocado sushi, but it's got it's avocado peanut. It's unusual, right? Have you ever heard of that? It's got, I don't think any other place in the world has it, but Highland Park, New Jersey. So it's got, um, uh, it's got avocados, stuffed with avocados, rice. And then it has, sounds weird, give it a chance. And they take like some sort of peanut butter and like puree it, I think, with like a soy sauce based thing. And then they drizzle that and then they put little tiny bits of like chopped up. It's so beautiful too, the way they arrange everything. Like these little tiny bits of, um, uh, oh, like a, like a chopped up honey glazed peanut. I know it sounds insane on a sushi roll to have um, a peanut, but it's, it's, it's great. And um, uh, one last thing before I go is that I'm organizing my entire robe collection. I want you guys to know that I'm organizing all the robes. As a robe enthusiast, as the world's largest, wait, can you see, robe enthusiast, I am organizing all my robes over here and all my jackets over here going from um warmer like a, a fall weather to a warmer you go back there it's going to be like super heavy uh wraps to wear around the house and stuff or out i wear all my stuff like whether it's a robe or a dress or a shirt i, I don't discriminate i told you i don't discriminate and i wear all clothes at all times whether they're considered pajamas or whether they're considered um clothing like just regular clothing anyway i'm talking too long i told you i told you johnny rigatoni would but would go eat the sushi soon and um uh and i gotta take my confrontational forehead and uh and maybe uh put some creams on it because uh that's a thing it's, if it's gonna keep conf confronting people then uh, oh look at look at this action i got the dress with the fluff with the nasty woman with the ballet skirt wait ballet skirt can you see it ballet skirt and a little fashion break, and the crazy shoes with the ruffles. I don't know if you can see that action, right? The crazy shoes with the ruffles. It, somehow, somehow it works. Somehow it works. And, um, or it doesn't, but I don't really give a flying, you know what? That's what happens when you get older. You don't care. You don't care no more. So anyway, taking my confrontational uh, um, forehead onto the, on the road and, and getting out. That's the story 
of Donnie Marie's confrontational forehead situation. And the thing with the talking with the hands actually means you're smarter, you're smarter if you talk with your hands. So keep doing it. Signing out.